What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is our 1000 subscriber video and the beginning of our new series, How to Develop Your Artist Image. So stay tuned. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan Votsek, and I am the founder of Lion Bold Records, a music producer, marketer, and YouTuber. We've officially hit 1,000 subscribers, so I think I could call myself a YouTuber now. And the reason that you're here is because you want to learn about the music industry. You want to learn how to market your music better. And if you're like me, you've tried a whole bunch of stuff. Luckily, I had some marketing jobs and I learned a lot. And I have a lot of experience on the music side, too. So today we're starting our series on artist image. And this is really important because when you're building your artist image from the very beginning, what you decide and how you choose to sculpt your artist image is going to carry all the way through your career until you build this huge community around your music. So it's like a seed right now when you're small, you have to think of your artist image as the seed that you're planting for the community that you want to build once you blow up and you are a popular artist. Guys, you could Google artist image, you could look in a dictionary, you probably have an idea of what an artist image is, but I've come up with my own definition that I think goes into a lot more detail and really breaks it down into actionable steps that artists can take to really sculpt their image in the right way. So the way that I define artist image is the way that an artist personifies pre-identified thoughts and feelings within their larger musical genre with the goal of familiarizing their unique traits with their niche. That is a really jam-packed definition. It almost doesn't even sound like a complete sentence, but I'm gonna break it down for you because there are a lot of elements within that definition. So first, the way that an artist personifies pre-identified thoughts and feelings. We all can do this. It's the easiest part. It's when you say, I wanna look edgy, or I want to be inspiring. Those are pre-identified thoughts and feelings that are universal, right? We all have an idea of what it means to be inspirational or what it means to be serious. If you want to be a serious musician on stage, you want to look like you're perfecting your craft. Or if you want to be whimsical, okay? Those are pre-identified thoughts and feelings, okay? And you decide this early on. You decide how you want to be on stage, how you want to be on your social media platforms. And what I suggest is that you just do you, be yourself, okay? And if there are elements that you want to add, like oh, I want to step out of my normal boundaries and be a little more comedic on stage, then try it. You know what I always say is test and tweak. You could always change something later and eliminate something that's not working for you, okay? So that was thoughts and feelings. The next part of the definition I talk about within your larger musical genre, right? So if you wanna be an inspirational but serious musician within hip hop or within R&B, right? You have to make sure you fit within the culture of that genre and make sure that everything lines up and it makes sense, okay? And again, you can test, tweak, eliminate what doesn't work, okay? But lastly, we have the most important part, which is familiarizing your unique traits with your niche, with your audience, right? There's something called a talent stack that I am a firm believer in harnessing and portraying to your audience, right? What a talent stack is, is your unique abilities, your unique talents stacked, right? Combined in a unique combination that no one else has. You know what I mean is only you have the right combination of loving music and loving baseball and anime and being a, a rap artist, but also loving Froyo, you know? This is a weird example, but you get what I'm saying. Your unique talents and traits that nobody else has. But you might be thinking, Ryan, aren't I supposed to make my image more mainstream, more palatable for the masses so that they can more easily gravitate to my music? And the answer to that is no. You don't want to be for the masses. That's vanilla, that's bland, okay? You want to target your niche. You want to find the audience that resonates with your talent stack, with your unique traits, right? Don't make music for the crowd. Make music for the three people who are really seriously into what you're doing. And then go talk to them after the show, right? Or the people who always comment on your Instagram posts, engage with them on Instagram, okay? It's these people who are radically into what you're doing, who are interested in your unique talent stack, 
that build the foundation for a long-term music career. It's these deep connections that make serious fans that last for the long term, that just won't fizzle out after a few posts. So take this new definition of artist image and apply it to your music and apply it to your brand. I promise you, it's gonna go so much further in connecting you to your real fans and creating a lasting music career. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and click on one of the links in the description below where there are more guides and more videos about the music business and about marketing your music. And before you go, make sure you drop a comment. I love responding to your comments and smash that like button if you are so inclined. And become a part of the Lion Bold family by becoming a subscriber and hitting that notification bell because the YouTube algorithm, if you don't hit that notification bell, you're not gonna get the rest of the videos in this artist development series. So click the bell, and thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video.